finally getting to the Loot Crate, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, Shell Shock, unboxing of the mystery Loot Crate. So make sure you stay tuned. And here we go with another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, we're getting the unboxing of the Loot Crate Turtles in Time Shell Shock box. This is box number two. Box one already came. I did an unboxing of that a while ago. Uh, I liked the last box. See what this box is like. I purposely have not been looking at any of the, the uh, post of the spoilers. So while I open this, like always... Like, share, and subscribe. You know, the collection dimension brings you everything from comics, action figures, statue unboxings, mystery box unboxings, through the collector's review. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Check out the website. Gonna start off with this. This is the t shirt. I got a 2X, so this is what the front looks like. It's Turtle Power has all their faces. I'm going to throw it up on the screen real quick just so I don't have to unfold it. Not a bad shirt. I like it. Let me set that right there. Turtle power, baby. So, keep on going into the box. That's the shell shock. I'll wait a second on that. Let me get that last. We have the pizza pin. Not a fan of pins. Pretty cool though. Got the graphics look, the bit. Then we have. Oh, that's cool. So, that one I like better than the pizza one. Another pin. So, it comes with two pins. I, assuming that everybody gets two pins. Uh, I don't know what this box is. Let's check out this box. Open it up. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I really like that. All right, get it out the damn package. Let's see. Yeah, that's beautiful for dioramas. Shredder. And then you got April on the news. Yeah, that's real cool. I really like that. They got it so you can hang. This will go perfect for dioramas. Yeah, that, that's nice. I didn't even... That's slick. So, then we have... We have a Turtles in Time Sewer Surfing Keychain. And this spins. So, my package was already ripped open. Okay. There you go, it spins and it's a different color on the other side. I was a big fan of the game. I got it up in the shop. I got the uh, arcade one up. And then the NECA. Turtles in Time Shell Shock Turtle. Um, me personally, not a big fan of the uh, them making, let me move that out the way so you guys can see this. Of them making the shell shock um cool idea i guess you know uh me just personally not a big fan of this tell me if you guys are a fan of this action figure just because uh there's not much you can uh really do with it you know but um i liked the uh shredder one i love the box the box look real nice see now if you're setting him up like that for a diorama yes glows in the dark that's cool that should go without saying but for the diorama that that that's that would be pretty cool but i like the box more than i like the uh actual action figure and i don't think this will be getting a re-release from my understanding um the ones that come in the loot crate boxes will not get a separate release that's from what I hear so put that right there and I think that's it for it wait oh I didn't know if I would have known I would have showed this stuff first so you got the pizza power radical so this is the coin gold coin cowabunga dudes there you go pretty slick coin I like that 
And then I guess the last piece is patches. So they got the Kawabunga Attack and Shell Shock. So uh, this box for me, I, I liked this box because um, I don't know if you guys watched my previous episodes, but I am a big uh, Ninja Turtle fan. So go token word bubble stickers so those are just these are just stickers these aren't uh patches then crane and pixel pizza pins then we got the super surfing spinning keychain arcade long sleeve shirt and the shell shock action figure that's what the turtle power looks like and this is actually not anywhere on here so this was actually my favorite piece. I actually like this piece more than I like the action figure. Um, I just really think this was a very dope idea to make for it. So, nice box overall. Uh, not one of the worst ones. I've had worse, so I'm happy to get this. This was another episode of the Collector's Review. Make sure you guys check out the other episode and hit that little subscribe button right down there. Check out the website and trying to get to 10,000 subscribers now and keep your eyes tuned for the uh, 9,000 subscriber contest. Um, that should be coming up uh, one of these weekends. So hit it. We out. Peace.